Welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, we will solve the problem of maximum length of pair chain. I have taken this problem from the website of LeetCode. This problem will take your skills to new heights. I think that the best way to solve a dynamic programming problem is to relate it to a problem that you have already solved in the past. So, once you are able to relate this DP problem to another problem which we have already solved in the past, then you will find solving this problem more fun than playing video games. I will tell you in the end that DP problem which you can relate this problem to, so I suggest that you watch this video till the end. Let's now check its problem statement. Also, you can go through the problem statement on the lead code website by clicking on the link in the description box. You are given an array of a few pairs of integers. This is the array. You can see the pairs inside it. In any pair, the left integer is always less than the right integer. A pair CD can follow AB only when C is greater than B. I repeat. A pair CD can follow a pair AB only when C is greater than B. And in this way, these two pairs will form a chain. The ask is to find out the length of the longest such chain. We are going to construct a dynamic programming solution of this problem. We are going to do that in my framework. But before we move there, I request you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already and hit the bell icon because that way you will get notified whenever I release videos like such for you in the future and you won't miss out on any of the learning. Let's switch to the framework now. You can see I have put down all the pairs given in the array one after another. The first step involves sorting this array of pairs in the increasing order of the first integers in the pairs. But why sort it? I feel the best time to tell you why sorting this array is necessary is after I have explained to you the working of the entire dynamic programming algorithm. So let's first sort this array and move ahead. Here is the sorted array and beneath it is the solution array which is going to give us the length of the longest pair chain. I have filled the entire array with one as it represents the base state. Two variables i and j will help us derive the solution. I have placed i beneath the second cell indexed by 1 and j beneath the first cell. What is the pair represented by i in the problem array? It's 4 comma 5 and what j represents? It's 1 comma 2. So let's bring our condition here in which we will compare 4 with 2. I repeat 4 the left integer of the second pair with the right integer of the first pair. 4 is greater than 2, condition satisfied, hence they both form a chain. So let me add 1 to this value which will give me 2. And I will compare this 2 with the value already existing in this cell which is 1. 2 is greater than 1, so I store 2 in this cell of the solution array. Why we compare with the value already existing in this cell? Because for this particular subproblem, j has run for only one iteration but had j run for more iterations this cell could have stored a bigger value hence it is necessary to compare each value with the already existing value in this cell now i moves one cell to the right and j goes to the first cell i now represents 7 comma 8 and j now represents 1 comma 2 so we are going to compare 7 with 2 as you can see 7 is greater than 2 the left integer of the following pair is greater than the right integer of the preceding pair. So these two will form a word chain. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add 1 to this value which j represents. I'll get 2. I compare 2 with this one. 2 is greater than 1. So I place 2 over here. Now j moves one cell to the right. i represents 7 comma 8 still. But now j represents 4 comma 5. We'll check the condition now. Is 7 greater than 5? Yes, it is. The left integer of the pair of the following pair is greater than the right integer of the preceding pair. So these two are forming the pair chain. So what I'm going to do? 
I'm going to add one to this value, which A represents in the solution array. I get three and then I compare three with the value already existing in this cell, which is two. Three is greater than two. So two will be replaced by three. And that's it. We have filled our solution array. Now we are going to traverse through this array to find the maximum integer. The maximum value that we are going to get is three. So three is the length of the longest possible pair chain. And as you can see, logically, this is very correct because one, two, four, five, seven, eight are all forming a pair chain. Hence the length of the array is the length of the longest pair chain. We have got the length of the longest pair chain. Now it's time to tell you why we sorted the array in the first place. If you take a look at the unsorted array logically, then the second pair seven comma eight will form a chain with the first pair one comma two because seven is greater than two. We saw that. Now check the third pair four comma five. If you compare it in the same order, then will it form a chain with seven comma eight? No, right? It would have also formed a chain with one comma two, but the length of the longest pair chain then would have been two instead of three. This is why sorting is necessary. Also, I told you in the beginning that the TP solution of this problem is similar to a popular problem, which we have done in the past. That problem is none other than weighted job scheduling. I have already made a video on it. You can watch it by clicking the link in the top right of the screen or on the link in the description box. I have also put the GitHub link in the description box on which you can find the Java solution of the DP problem we have solved just now. With this, we have come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching it till the end. Do give this video a like if you liked the explanation. I am working hard to help you with programming and algorithms and only for this video. Goodbye and take very good care of yourself.